right, welcome to today's vlog. I'm in my backyard. The landscape finally, finally got done. This is freaking Casa de Cook is gonna be lit. It's gonna be so freaking lit out here. Not just because I have a fireplace, it's actually going to be technically lit. Um, the pool's in, I added the, the extra patio stuff. So I, what I want this to be is like, I'm gonna have like a day bed, you know, and the sitting area, TV, little kitchen. Um, but I also want it to be like this really cool spot where I can come out, stretch, do yoga, meditate. I really want to get back into meditating. So I've, I've uh, dedicated myself to the next 30 days of doing that. But partly because like I am so bad with my phone. I am always on my phone. I have anxiety from, you know, just, just being on it too much. I think we can all kind of relate to that. We pick it up first thing in the morning. It's the last thing we put down late at night. And that's a big part of why on the Swole program, the workouts I've been following with Jake, having Jake as a good lifting partner that is like, hey, time's up, we gotta go. And me doing it vice versa, it allows us to kind of put the phones down and get back to working out. I've noticed that that makes, makes a huge difference in the gym. So now I'm trying to get into a good habit. It takes about 21 days to create a habit. I wanna wake up at the exact same time every day. The hard thing is when I travel and then come back, jet lag, all these excuses that end up happening, which are just that, they're excuses. And you know, it's gonna, it, might, it might have to be a couple days of just being really, really tired or taking a nap, but waking up, getting in that routine, waking up at you know, 6 a.m., doing some meditation, doing some stretching, doing some cardio, but I wanna set myself up for winning, and that means having a place to do that. So I'm not gonna go into the gym you know, multiple times a day. Um, I'd like to be there at a big chunk in the middle of the day. So that means finding a good place at my house to do it. Now, out here is great and all because it's 60 degrees right now. It's just starting to get a little bit chilly but in the winter time, I'm gonna need a place to do that. I don't wanna have any excuses, so I have the perfect place to do that, and it's my casita. Let's go check it out. Did my 10 minutes of yoga, and I just noticed, maybe it was because I knew I was gonna be doing yoga, I wore green Gymshark pants, a green sweatshirt, and I'm sipping a grain drink. Grain drink, grain drink. Um, but yo, like how, my backyard is looking pretty zen. And I noticed Alec, Alec, what do you think of my green outfit, by the way? It's very vegan of me, huh? No animals were harmed in the making of this video or in the making of these clothes. I love it. That's the motto. That's the motto. What do you think of the backyard? It's getting there. This dude, this Australian guy jumped into the pool. We can actually roll some sweet footage of Alec just jumping into the pool and it's not cold. It's like 65 degrees in there. To him, that's not cold, but to me, it's enough to, it's cold enough to be like a cold pool. But this is the casita, or I call it a casita. I don't know if I would technically, if you guys would call it a casita, but this is, this is what I call it. So I guess we'd call this Casa de Cook Casita. That's a lot of Spanish for you in one day. Um, I had these mats left over from the gym. I'm thinking though, this is all I had. I'm gonna have to either find some more mats or I might just go like what they do in CrossFit, across the gym and put like horse mats down. So I want this all to be mats. And I wanna have, uh, and here I have a TV. I have a, a road bike. Um, I have a treadmill from the gym to put in here. And then maybe even a rower. You think we could fit a rower in here? What do you think, Alec? What do you think, huh? Yes, go, get it, it, go, get it, get it. And then maybe the, the bike over there. But, and then we also need like a little foam rolling stretching area. Cause I know you do, you do, you do your body weight workouts. I don't mind it in front of the TV area. Yeah, but no, I don't want it in there. Yeah, true. I want it out here. This is the it workout area. Good. We no. can put the TV out, out in there. Oh, there you go. You Morning know, burpees, sun. burpees and sweating in there. I don't want that. I don't want right to stinking up the TV <laughs> room. <laughs> Um, we also have this. This is actually, shout out to Doug Miller. Doug Miller, uh, the other day I got home and this was waiting for me. This is a mini fridge with a bald eagle, Maruka Energy. So um, this is red, white, and boom, he sent it to me. Little energy drink. Just got my Zen. Now I'm going to get my caffeine. Do you drink caffeine, Alec? Yeah. You don't, do you? Yeah. 
You're the only Australian person besides Xana that I know that doesn't like caffeine. <laughs> so I'm thinking though, I'm thinking what I need to do with this. Pull up these mats, put new mats down here. Um, I have this little thing. I need a, an area to store all my pool equipment and, and blow up stuff. And this room isn't it. Because this room is going to be the boss room when it comes to just Zen and cardio. This is our cardio Zen foam rolling room. Should we go to the store? Is that how you do it? Let's do it. I'm a vegan. So each morning after I do my yoga, my cardio, maybe get a sauna, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna jump in the pool like Alec did the other day with his GoPro. What? Um, Cause that's pretty much like a cold pool. It's like 64 degrees. We got the hot tub that goes to 104 degrees. So we got good contrast stuff. I don't know if I, like they just laid this sod. So if any of you guys can tell me how long you need to, how Alec actually did landscape. Yeah, that was my career. Yeah, Last how long year. do I need to wait before I walk on sod? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks. It's, oh, it you can walk on it now, but... It hasn't been that long. I wouldn't be playing rugby on it. Yeah, I don't want to be playing rugby on the pitch. <laughs> um, and then the backyard is pretty much complete. What I want to do, though, over here... Over here, I want to put a basketball court because Alec thinks he can beat me in basketball. I got him. I got him. And there's no way. There's no way, bro. <laughs> I don't lose at sports that have balls in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, maybe one day, basketball court or pickleball. If you guys don't know what pickleball is, you play with like a wiffle ball and a paddle. I just want my backyard to be this ultra like, it's I want it to be the cool kid backyard. The other kids in the neighborhood, it's like, ring the doorbell deck. Hey Steve, can Al come out and play? I'm like, no, he's editing a vlog, but I'll go beat your ass in pickleball right now. <laughs> and then their eight year olds go tell their mom that and I'm in trouble. But I want the backyard to have, you know, the fire pit, the TV, the patio, the workout area, and then pickleball, basketball court, or maybe, maybe even one day do like a gym back here. Like not an outdoor gym because it's way too hot here in the summertime, but like an indoor gym that slides up and then the pool, we go and run into the pool right now. Should we just go run into the pool? Should we? Let's do it. You ain't do it. Oh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I don't want to get all, all, my, all my stuff wet. Oh, it's going to be so cold. It's so dark. It's going to be so cold. How is it? I would like to start my day like that every single day. Just like, F it. I'm sweaty, I did my cardio. I'm gonna go jump in the pool no matter how cold it is. Just to wake up and be like, I'm freaking happy. I'm alive and ready to go today. So we gotta go change. We gotta go get that room done though. It's the bane of my existence right now. We gotta do it. We got a lot of things this week. We leave, I can't feel my face. We leave for Hawaii on Thursday. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Let's get it done. Side. Oh, you did it? I did it. You know what Alec also is guilty of doing? <laughs> getting getting on the wrong getting in on the wrong side of the car like every time because they drive on this side in Australia. <laughs> what a you're not a loser. You're not at all a loser. Like Oh wait, yeah. you changed pants. I did. I told them he can't wear white after Labor Day here in the, in America, so he changed his white pants. It was really looking very backstreet boy of you. Do you even know who that is? Backstreet back. Alec is 22. This is his first time in the US. So I feel like I have to give him pop culture references. So, by the way, shout out to Max Tuning. This is Ever Forward. He sent it to me. It's actually really cool. I like the color a lot. Thanks, Max. Boom, it's twice. Can't get fooled again. Boom, we can't get fooled again. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I did the math at the house. I, I measured it out. This says it's 72 inches, which would be actually good size. We, I would need two of them. Is it as tall as me? I'm just, I'm like 73 inches, so. I'm six, I'm six one. Is, I'm one. Am I one inch taller than this? Take your head off. Keep your head straight. Like take your head more forward. Okay, I gotta go here. I think yeah. It's the same size as you. That's, it is? Yeah, okay. 
Well, that's what we need then. What? Yeah. For mats? These mats are expensive, bro. Put your hands on the ground. Take one step left and one step right. One to the front and one to the side. Clap your hands once and clap your hands twice. And if treadmill up against the wall and then I'm thinking yeah treadmill up against this wall rower right here and then bike right here yeah like that and then maybe ski erk there's no way I'm getting a ski erk and a but I guess the, the rower can go up. The rower can go up. Can you put it against that? That's true too. Just put the edge Rower, up. bike, skier, TV okay. in that corner. TV in the corner. That's what I'm thinking. In the corner. In the corner. I'm gonna get this to, we gotta cut this up tomorrow. Oh, these horse mats really smell like, like mm. intense like rubber. Mm. But it smells like a weed, like chemical mix. Like almost like vodka and dirty socks. That's what mm. I'm going with. Yeah, it's strong on the nostrils. It stings the nostrils. It's quite pungent. Lips and the tongue, the tongue and the lips. Tongue and the tongue and the tongue. What's that from? Quite pungent. I'm trying to think. Sex Panther by Odeon. <laughs> Anchor Man. Anchor Man. What time is it? I think it's time to jump in the hot tub, is what time it is. Lights. Boom! Damn! What kind of theme should we go with? Let's go with a the little party theme. Ready for it? I'm Ooh, ready. you like the party? Black! <laughs> Freaking listens to me. Blue! Ah, oh, get at me, bro! <laughs> Yo, I think I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go into the spa. We're gonna go into features. And Alex has gotta go edit. <laughs> and I'm gonna stay out here and go live with some ladies. <laughs> That's actually Air what's blower. gonna happen as well. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm setting this bad boy. We're going 104 all the way up. I'm about to go jump in this. Before Alec lives here, before Alec lived here, moved in, I used to go skinny dipping in this every night. <laughs> F it. I might, I might tonight, too. So, Okay, we're going to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching this. We're going to get that room set up. We're going to see it come to fruition. Um, and tomorrow we got a big workout, getting back into the gym on the swole program. We'll see you tomorrow.